What's up, Internet Land? Zachamus Prime, aka Zachamus Prime, here with the Transformers third party review. And today we're taking a look at an older figure. This is going to be the Toy World Allocator, which is clearly not their version of Hook. I'm sure such a thing is just a strange coincidence. <laughs> but yeah, Allocator, Hook, whatever you want to call him. Good figure, actually. Um, of course, uh, so these figures are pretty well done in terms of, you know, looking like the th they've got a more complex transformation. And part of that kind of backfires on this guy a little bit. I don't really like these big old tires hanging off of his shoulders. But, I mean, they don't really get in the way too much, and I guess they're fine. So, I guess I don't really have anything to really complain about. But, like, and as I'm thinking about it, well, I don't know. I guess my Hephaestus doesn't do it that way. But, anyhow, yeah. Hook. Um, I dig this figure. I don't. I guess I don't really have a whole lot to say about this, except when I was a kid, I thought that this guy was the leader because you know he formed the head. He formed the head of Devastator, so I was like, yeah, he must be the one in charge of the Constructicons. And in fact, this figure does come with the head. Um, I don't have any batteries in mind because that's ridiculous. Batteries are absurd. They'll just go bad eventually, and. Actually, maybe I do have batteries in this. There are things in there that look awful a lot, awful lot like batteries. If not enough leverage on that, well, I'll deal with it later. But anyhow, he also comes with his gun. Which, instead of a scope on top, has like a little, like, rocket launcher. So you can be sighting down the thing and just be like... Uh, like all the other figures, it does have a 5mm peg and a slot in that peg. So it tabs into his hand. And it looks good. Like, uh, I find myself... I found myself not having a lot to say about Hook. And um, and I don't think that's to say that it's a weak figure, because it's really not. It really is a strong figure. It looks good. Um, I just don't have any strong feelings about him one way or the other. It's Hook. He's a part of the uh, Constructicons, and uh, he comes with a gun and a head. I guess it is a good thing that it, to, that I don't really have anything bad to say about it, except for maybe the mention of these little uh, doohickeys on his shoulder. But let's talk about his articulation. So his articulation, his head mm, is kind of restricted. It'll look left and right, which is fine. Actually, I think that's not terrible. Um, it will also, due to his transformation joint as well, look down a whole lot and look up quite a bit. So that's all fine too. Um, his shoulders will go all the way around. All the way, don't make a liar of me. Don't make a, okay. They won't go all the way around. His backpack gets in the way slightly, but it will go out for the full tree pose. And you can take this little part here and you can rotate that. And like so as well. In fact, if you rotate that up, then you can bring his shoulder out for the full tree pose again. Plus a bicep rotation, plus an elbow joint, a bend of 90 degrees. Plus he's got an unsecured transformation joint which allows his arm to bend in. Weird, but okay. We'll, we'll go by it. 
and the hands just like all the other ones you get wrist rotation um, uh, ball joints on each finger single finger no joints in between he has a waist joint skirt armors that get out of the way allowing his leg to bend that far forward that far back go out for the full Van Dam thigh swivel you get if you actually bend these panels out of the way <laughs> you get a single joint knee bend there and you get some ankle tilt though his ankle tilt is like well no he's got a tilt on the inside on the middle of his ankle but he also has a tilt on the outside of his ankle and the rotation in does he have rotation? No, nope. I, I, I lied about that one too. But the toe wiggles, yeah. Anyhow, let's get him transformed up. I think I want to start with his legs. So we're going to flip out these tabs right here. There's one in here and one over here. And then we can tab his legs together and then flip these down and that will secure these, like these halves together. I may have ended up doing that prematurely actually. I feel like I have. But we can take these panels and move them up and out of the way. This guy has got these connectors here. This one will stay out of your way. This one you need to move. We'll pull these up. And then we can fold this entire thing back. 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 Nope. I jumped the gun there. Separate these out and then fold them in. There we go. We want to take these toes and fold them up. These panels, by the way, are just going to fold in like so and cover all that up. Very cleverly done. That guy just tabs back into the little, not tabs, it just sits there. Then we're going to take and weasel these tabs free. Whatever that takes. There we go. So basically this chest panel is on a big old like double hinge. And that will first and foremost allow you to pull to fold his um, head out of the way and then you can fold these panels up and these guys I believe they want to go like this
the arms, you're going to fold the hands away. I'm actually going to rotate them before I fold them away. Just to, just to make it so that I can more safely pull them out. You don't really want to pull out articulated hands, fingers first. But maybe I can do the side of the hand. Nope, that doesn't want to. That doesn't want to go that way. Hmm, that doesn't want to go. I guess it'll have to come out fingers first. That's just sketchy. I wonder if I was just dumb on that one. No, it really doesn't want to go past that. Hmm. Alrighty. All right, so it's going to go like that. And then this is going to rotate around, I believe, and then fit in like so. This whole thing is sketchy as fuck. There we go. Now this part collapses in, but I cannot for the life of me figure out how that's supposed to happen. I think it just goes in like so somewhere, but... Uh, all right, let me try and figure this out. That should just, yeah, collapse down just like that.
There we go. La di da di da, you didn't see anything with this. It's just a secret for later. A hidden feature that I'm not talking about right now. And there you have Hook in his alt mode, and he looks like a little kind of derpy crane. This part here extends out. And you got your little hook. The whole thing rotates about. It doesn't have the, um, what was it? The TFC version had the jacks, stabilization jacks that popped out. This one doesn't have ones like that, but still, it's cool. It looks good. It even looks good from the underside. All in all, it's a good little figure. And it's part of a set. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm not really being like fair to this figure, but like, there's nothing really wrong with it at all. It's just, it's a good figure. But anyhow, that's all I've got to say about this guy. Everybody, thanks for watching. If you made it through that, well, it was probably a boring transformation because I had to, like, remember how I did it <sighs> so long ago. But um, thanks, everybody, for watching. You guys are fantastic. Everybody stay awesome and be good to each other. Getting dust off of it. With a chip brush. See ya.